Okay guys, uh, today we're going to be uh, working on connecting our wing to our fuselage without having this uh, clipping mesh here, because we don't like that. So we're going to start by going into the top view by pressing 7. We're going to press tab. And we're going to delete everything that clips into our aircraft. So all that stuff in the middle, we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the mirror modifier, since we don't want that right now. Okay, so we should be left with a gap between our wing and our fuselage. Just like that. That's what we want. Okay. So I'm going to go into my wing. I'm going to select everything outboard of the first control loop right here so everything else you may have a bunch of control loops just highlight all of them press h and you didn't delete it you just hit it so you can't see it when you're in the edit mode it's going to make your life a lot easier so we're going to select our aircraft press and our and our wing wing and the aircraft and press tab so we can edit both simultaneously it's a pretty cool word all right so we're gonna have to move around a lot of uh control loops and stuff but that's fine that's fine i'll, I'll show you guys how to do it so we're gonna start i'm gonna start in the back so we're going to start by adding a control loop here on our fuselage, right there. I'm going to double press G. I'm just going to drag that vertice down so it's lined up kind of close to this. We can clean it up later. Do the same with the top, drag that down. And I'm double pressing G so stuff doesn't look funky once I pan out of this view. Drag that down, drag that down. Don't worry if there aren't vertices uh, to line up with right here. We'll go back to that. We're going to drag that back. I'm going to add a control loop here. Drag that, up, drag that back. Bring that down. And then I'm going to line up each one of these. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna work. Okay, so we're just gonna drag these straight down. We're not gonna worry about double pressing G. Sometimes it really depends on the circumstance. I'm gonna grab this control loop by pressing Alt and clicking on that line right there, and that's gonna select our entire control loop all the way around. Don't press G, drag that on back, and uh, don't worry about the sides not being symmetrical right now. We're going to uh, cut this in half and add a mirror modifier shortly. Okay. So it should look like this. You have your airfoil shape on your fuselage now, like right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so we're going to cut our fuselage in half, we're going to press C, highlight everything to the left of our center line here, make sure you don't select any of the center line because we still need that. Go back to the tail, make sure I got everything there, yep. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to delete vertices so you end up with this. 
and I'm gonna add. No, I'm not gonna do that yet. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna select our wing, and we're gonna select our fuselage, and we're gonna go Control J, join them together, just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna click Alt H, and that's gonna unhide everything we hit earlier. I'm gonna select this vertice and press the period button on my uh, numpad, and that's gonna center my view camera around whatever I have selected. Very useful tool. All right, so I'm gonna select all the faces that we don't want, which is essentially everything that's in the way of connecting the wing to the fuselage. So you see we have our airfoil shape that we created. Delete all that, just like that. Okay. So we clearly have more control loops on our fuselage than we do on our wing. So we're gonna have to fix that as we go. So I'm gonna start by making one in the back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the bottom. I'm gonna hide this plane to make my life easier. All right, so we're going into our edge selection mode. We're gonna select an edge on our fuselage, select where we wanna connect it to on the wing. For me, I wanna connect these two and press F, and that creates a face between the two selected. And we're just gonna go around and do that. We need to add two control loops here. And then, let's see, we got one. I'm gonna start from the front here. Okay. Okay, we need one control loop there. All right, got that. Coming around the front, now we're gonna do the top. And if all was done correctly, and they should line up decently. Did not mean to do that. There we go. There we go. We just connected our wing to our fuselage seamlessly. And then if we add our smooth function or edge, I, I don't want that on this plane. Oh, it looks gross. Flatten that. Okay. And then we have a couple of issues here. I'm just going to straighten these out by selecting them, pressing S, and then pressing Z. It's zero. And I'll flatten those out. Position those where I want them. Looks okay. And then we're gonna add our mirror modifier to our entire plane. There you go. You now have seamless connection of mesh here. You can clean this up uh, if you want to. Like that. And this is really nice for when you use subdivision, just like that. And now it actually looks pretty good. If you look at that, and if we turn that up to two, look at that. And then let's say you want this, let's let's pretend something here. I'm gonna get rid of this control loop. So let's say you wanna sharpen this, right? You just add a control loop, smack it there. And the closer you make it to the plane, the sharper that's gonna be. I'll put this right about there. And now, if we go smooth this, looks pretty good. Look at that. So hopefully this answered uh, some of your guys' questions on how to do that. Um, any qu other questions you have, throw it in the comments. I usually look at them every week. Thanks for watching.